interesting. This district certainly provides evidence that the region's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Are you working toward that next technological... Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Great. Well, good luck then. I'm sure I'll see you on your way out. Oh, I can't imagine being forced to spend my days doing menial work in an office like this, instead of exploring the stars on the bridge of a spacecraft. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Strength. Tell them you lack empathy for your clients. All right. Just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match which I'll take up with our technicians later. So, let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? An excellent question, but enthusiasm can only take you so far. We don't operate on passion alone here, we look for skill. Which brings me to my next question. Why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? Hmm. Something tells me you aren't joking. I like to think I'm a pretty good judge of character. Natural leadership is a hard quality to find, so be sure to use it to your advantage. How motivated are you to succeed? All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? You've got some tough competition ahead of you then. Better get those leadership skills ready. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probationary period, of course. Especially considering this criminal record of yours. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy, so you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogene Salzo, and you should get served right away. As technicians, we handle prep and post-op work. Beginnings and ends.
thanks for choosing Terra. What can I get you? Oh, the Ryujin Order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired is what happened. And this... is the soulless suit they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind a desk. Getting coffee. Kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? Yeah, I bet you are. No one's ever sorry in this business. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. And believe me, it's either you or me. No one's been sent to terminate anyone. Now, why don't you just calm down hmm? before someone accidentally gets hurt? You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. You can't be that good. Not yet. Nobody wants that. Maybe this doesn't have to get out of hand. Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you, I gave you the chance to talk me down. <laughs> Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me, and now... She's gonna see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time and before our paths cross again, okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. You're either one of the few good people in Neon or you already know a thing or two about leverage. Just don't make me regret this. Hey, no worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Are you serious? That's the most excitement I've had in months. <laughs> I feel like I should be thanking you. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple-checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. I hope that coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. You either need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Personal. Huh. I suppose that's one way to put it. 
I know that Tomo Higashi, an ex-employee of ours, accosted you at the Terra Brew, and before you get any ideas, no, the barista didn't sell you out. Ryujin has enough connections in Neon that an incident like this would never slip by. Deception aside, some of us are impressed by how you handled the situation and would like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations, you've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? Talking through it was the right way to handle the situation. I'm proud of you. You say that now, but let's move on to the details. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? Like any good corporation, we consider what we do here to be a trade secret. If others knew and could mimic our actions, it would take away our edge. Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary? You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. The only thing creepy here is your misinterpretation. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses, getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Let's hope your best is good enough. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but... As part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Yeah, it's always nice to fit names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. <sighs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations.
Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? Yeah, <laughs> that's what they all say. Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but Terra Brew it is. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. We'll see. We've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was... not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. What is it? I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I can only imagine. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. My words exactly. We can't allow them to win the contract, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. Hey, it's the newbie.
Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to... I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Security, you're under arrest. Mm. One of those days, huh? More like one of those months. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to Terrabrew right now. Yeah? I'll go with you. We can pick up an extra for Chloe if she asks. I can't remember. You want to do for the I'm break glad break. I ended up at Geld Court. I don't know, but Ms. I gotta McKenna get out of here. Employees like family. It's been non-stop interruptions since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to Cody.
like one You're of those You're out there months. a lot, right? You know Space? what? Screw it. I'm going to Terror Room right now. Someone who gives a damn. People joke, say those Varun zealots bullshit. But you're going to need more supporting evidence. Imogen's a stickler for details. That's what I was afraid of. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? I know what you mean, but that's your missing piece right there. All right, I'll get on it. Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, Setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews, you get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. You've gotten caught in the past. Now's the time to make new habits. In the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and will be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first, and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. 
It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. You should ask Sam about Akina sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell. Stop wouldn't be the grip. Sam has told me so many stories about Aquila City. <laughs> I feel as though I've lived here all my life. There's not enough to do around here. So we had to clean up the graffiti on the range again. Why don't we just close it down? It's not like it gets much you use. You need all sorts of like I need a place to put the for their pieces. It stays. But you know, it's trash will come back and loiter. Or worse. Let them. A few beer bottles. You need help? Miss Lance is just downstairs. since I traveled with Vladimir Sol.
stuff for that boost pack. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Excellent. I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations. Now, I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. Nice to see I haven't worn you out yet. Your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that keycard without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. As technicians, we handle prep and post-op work. Beginnings and ends. All crew accountable. We're ready to depart. Scanners won't hurt you. Keep it moving, keep it moving. It's getting too late. You're all the way from the Now is the time. Flover over at the temple. So you're telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to New Atlantis? Because you don't That's look right. like you belong in damn crate. Looks like you've got some fines to clear up. This is because I refuse to pay Bayou's ridiculous tariff on my goods, right? I don't make the rules, lady. Just take your junk, load it back on your ship, and get the hell out of here. If I don't deliver these goods, I'm going to lose thousands on this job. Not my problem. Better get moving.
Good. I'll take any stolen property or contraband you might be carrying, and we'll be done here. That's an order, not a suggestion. No loiter. Now move it. Some kind of joke. Still, I'm not handing over this card without good reason. So start talking. I thought I made myself clear. I'm not giving you my card. You really don't have anything better to do? Maybe I can make an exception. Here's the card. Just make sure you give it back when you're done. Got that key card for me? Now we're talking. Not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch. And your timing couldn't be better. Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astra Lounge here in Neon. Discretion and the Trade Tower in Neon don't exactly go hand in hand. The assignment is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails.
That's what we're hoping for. You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. Whenever executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. We need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Aster Lounge distract you too much. There's always work to be done. Pace yourself. Make it a fast one. Catherine Lucian keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. No. Yeah, right. Hysterical old broad. Be careful if you run into those tricky jerks. With the sudden appearance of multiple terror. Sorry, can I help you with something? Conversation it is. You have piqued my interest. Besides, I intend to take full advantage of this business trip.
the Eugen Industries. A good guess since we are here in Neon, but no. Infinity LTD. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Cuts corners. If they are sacrificing quality, be sure we will uncover it. We are a trusted business and would never partner with another company that may jeopardize our reputation. A surprising conversation, and one I would never expect from someone such as yourself. I suppose the old saying, never judge a book by its cover, is appropriate here. It seems I have quite a bit to reconsider now. So, it looks like the pleasure aspect of my trip needs to be postponed. Thank you for the insight. You want to slap a dress code on this place. Keep it classy for appearance's sake. Ain't that the truth? Wait a minute. Please tell me you're not from Infinity LTD. Someone like you doesn't want to be associated with Infinity LTD? <laughs> now this I've got to hear. Hearing that is like nails on a chalkboard for someone in my position. But I'm guessing you know that. You definitely have my attention. It is a little excessive, even compared to their competitors. I won't say it doesn't make me nervous. I've never been much of a gambling man, and I'd rather not start. At least not in my profession. Well, it's been interesting. Just goes to show how wrong first impressions can be. Unfortunately, it sounds like I have some data I need to revisit. So take care, and maybe next time, dress to impress. done.
Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. Overall, not bad for your first high profile assignment. You even earned yourself a bonus, which Linden was more than happy to give. That's exceptionally kind of you, Imogene. What are you doing? Don't mention that up here. Follow me. Let's go. It's well deserved. Just keep making me look good, and there'll be more where that came from. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. At least this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Your next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Make it quick. I have a deadline.
Uh, while we're here, we should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Yes? I don't want to hear any complaints. Yes? Hey. Keep an eye on your valuables. I remember meeting down here for me. with you. You've got something for me? Hey there. Got an update for me? Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. As for your performance, there is that bit of trouble to account for along the way. Believe me, I tried to stick up for you, but Lyndon's a real stickler for details. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. I'm happy to say that the deal was officially called off. Masako was pretty happy about the results, so she arranged for a small bonus through Lyndon. It won't buy you a new ship, but it's something. You earned it. So, back to business. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely.
Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line Star Yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught, and don't make a mess. Okay. I'm not certain why we're visiting this star yard. It's doubtful any of us have the credits to afford these overpriced vessels.
approaching ship. You've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. That's all we need. Enjoy Neon. Hamza kept pestering me about his damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that now. Just the person I wanted to see. You got that schematic? Good work. R&D's been looking forward to this one. I need to deliver this to Vina so she can start the reverse engineering process. But first, Ulara wants to see you. I've upgraded your security level so you can access the executive floor where her office is. Tell her assistant Maeve you have an appointment. I won't be far behind, in case you get lost. 